<laughs> oh, why am I feeling gassy today? Maybe it's because it's a new day. I got, I gotta let it out. Uh, I gotta, I gotta let you guys know something. <clears throat> yeah, you're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. This is what I know and what I say. I invite you to just imagine for an instant that everything is okay. That every single joy or every single experience that gives you the deepest amount of gratitude and, and peace of mind, more of it is on your way, honestly. I invite you to just imagine that every worry, every anxiety, every single fear, every single unknown potential, all of that, all of that weight on your soul will be lifted at the very exact time that you want it to. And this isn't an ego thing. This is a higher self thing because what I know, what, what I feel, what, what, what I resonate is that your deepest desires, wants, needs are coming true. We are essentially all walking each other home to this truth, to this realization, this spiritual metaphysical realization that everything is in perfect harmony. It always was. It always will be. We have traveled far from the center of eternity to experience reality from a perspective that seems alien, that seems novel, that seems like it's all for real. It's time to experience the Taurus from the center, folks, especially if you're watching this and you feel like you have a gift that you want to share and you're not sure if you're, if you're, if you have the tools or if you're not sure that it'll get you into trouble or you're not sure if that you, you might lose friends or family or any worries or fears, you're not going to lose anything. How can you lose something that's yours forever? You can only lose something that's not yours. A lot of people are afraid that they might lose the relationship that they have. You can't lose that. You can't lose something that is forever yours. And why do I say like it's forever yours? Like I like I have some sort of mystical knowledge of something that transcends the physical body. And it's like something it's like some guru talking about how he knows what's going to happen to you after you die. Obviously, Nobody has came back from complete death. There is near death experiencers and I'm going to make future videos on this. I'm actually really excited about this. I'm going to make future videos on near death experiences, how they are so similar to ayahuasca or other plant medicine ceremonies. And I'm getting totally swindled by that dragonfly. <laughs> okay. What was I saying? Oh yes, there is nothing to be afraid of because all you have to do is remind yourself that you have everything that you need, okay? You always have exactly what you need. Say it with me. I have exactly what I need. I have exactly what I need. I always have exactly what I need. Repeat this. Tell it to the mirror until that fuckface on the other side starts believing it because you deserve it. You deserve to be told that everything's going to be fine. You deserve to turn off the television and huck it out the window and not watch that tell lies to your vision anymore because it's not serving you. Whatever is not making me grow, I am letting it go. <laughs> Whatever's not letting me grow, I'm letting it go. Don't be afraid to cut ties, okay? You can't lose something that's forever yours. Sometimes we have to let go of things that aren't in our manifest destiny so that we can reach a plane of reality that we're meant to be. So I invite you 
to just breathe, okay? Literally, I'm asking you to put yourself under a temporary state of sanity and tell yourself you are free completely, always, eternally, forever. There's nothing that can stop you because there's nothing that can stop me. I am you, you are me, we're experiencing reality through the eyes of eternity, and it's fucking amazing. I love you. This is a philosophy. Obviously, this is a thought experiment. You could be just sharing my pathology, but since I'm making it rhyme and I'm doing it on a dime, it seems pretty cool to just yell and say, fuck the rules. <laughs> you know, it's like, this is what I feel like my gift is. It's just before I would do this pro bono and I would create spaces um, in, 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 in the 3D with, with physical human beings in, in, in geographical locations, not over the internet. And I would, I would create these spaces and we would talk, we would have talking circles, we would do plant medicine ceremonies and we would reach this truth. It, it's called a satsang. It's coming together to remind each other of family, what it's like to come together with true family, like beings of light, beings that came here for a purpose, beings that came here to really create the world your heart knows is possible. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to inspire those who seem like they're isolated and I feel called to do it over the internet and uh, I'm not afraid. Yeah, I'll be honest with you guys. I had a pretty rough journey. I did have a lot of fear growing up and I've been through some some battles here and there. I've failed a whole bunch. I've really embarrassed myself. I've really, uh, I've learned some valuable lessons, let's say. And I'm in a point where I can honestly sit and say, I affirm that today is perfect. And I pray that all of you listening right now I'm going to stop rhyming. This is cheesy. Hip, hip, hooray. We've done it. We already won. The cat's out of the bag. The toothpaste can't be put back in. The great awakening is assured. 5D is yours. It forever is yours. And death is the greatest illusion, okay? The greatest illusion is separation. And, and death is seemingly like a separation from who you are. You might like forget everything you know. But yes, that's true. But you remember everything in the process. So... I invite you to just play with these thought experiments until you reach balance with eternity. So peace and love in the Keshe brothers and sisters. I hope this helps. I look forward to hearing your comments and I hope you're taking all this in. I, I, I really find utility in writing things down, practicing what I preach. And so I'm getting into nature every single day. I am challenging myself every single day. I'm questioning my beliefs every single day and I'm taking a leap of faith every single day. I love it. This is what we're born for. This is what gives me passion in life is to just make, make it worth living for. I mean, some people want to just exist. If you're an NPC, um, a non-player character, that's, that's a humble job and that's, it's an admirable thing to do. In my previous video on why you should not enter 5D, it's because we need buttholes. Uh, and we need we need burps. But if you don't know what that means, go and watch that video. And uh, it's completely all a play. It's all it's all for you. It's your show. It's your movie. And instead of being the observer, instead of watching somebody else be the main character, I invite you to be the star of the show, baby, because you're made of star stuff. Have you forgotten? You are the butterfly. Okay, bitch. People will look at you as soon as you start flapping your wings. You will get the feedback of support and love and unconditional compassion and reverence that you desire this is something that we all desire and it's beautiful we're all answering each other's prayers so we're all 
dreaming this together. So I think that's enough. I'm going to finally leave you guys. I hope this helps. In Lakesh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> wow. Celebrate it. <laughs> wow. Hmm. <laughs>